Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of The Aussie Flipper. My name's Matt Diedrich and I am an online reseller. What that means is I'll buy a product for the sole purpose of flipping it online for a profit. Now I'm really excited to get into today's episode because I've been able to do over $1,000 in sales for the first time this week. So if you're new to the channel, I do these videos every single Sunday. I'll take you through my top sold items of the week. So if you're into reselling, you'd absolutely want to be subscribing to this channel. So feel free to hit the subscribe button below. Give this video a like. I'm going to give you my seven best sold items of the week and also just show you how I did that $1,000 for the very first time. So it's going to be a jam-packed episode. Hope you're excited for it. Let's jump straight into it. I'm going to kick things off, guys, with the Twilight Barbie dolls I found behind the counter of an op shop only just a couple of weeks ago. You may have watched the episode of A Day in the Life where I found these. They were five for $65. It worked out to a $13 cost per doll. Now, I sold one in the What Sold video last week, but I've been able to sell two more this week. So, Victoria has sold for $50, and I've made a $37 profit. And Alice has actually sold for 100 bucks, which I'm just shocked by. Um, that was the true value of it, and it ended up selling within a few days. So $87 profit to me, buying it at $13. Um, and I made a, uh, a quick sale there on eBay within the space of a few days for these two dolls. So $124 worth of profit, $50, $150 worth of sales. It's a great one to kick the episode off. I wouldn't play in this space normally. My advice here would be that you should always look behind the op shop counter because that's where they house all the valuable stuff. So always barter, maybe go up there and ask and see if you can negotiate a good price on anything that you might see that could be potentially worth a bit of money. This one's paid off for me and therefore I'm gonna to continue to down, look down this path. But um, great one to kick it off. Um, keep an eye out for the Barbie dolls. Keep an eye out for the Twilights because some of them are worth a bit. The next item I've got is great for those who are new to reselling. If you're a beginner out there and you're just looking to get started, my advice would be to have a look around the house for items that you no longer use that you could potentially sell for a couple of quick dollars. Now, I opened up my clothing cupboard the other day and I found this jacket that I literally just never wear. Um, so I thought, why not put it up on Facebook Marketplace and see what we can get for it. Now, it is a 100% genuine leather jacket. Um, it was perfectly tailor-made for me. I just don't wear leather jackets and I'm on the Gold Coast. It's really hot and warm here. So I'm not going to really wear it too much. And I know that I can probably get away with a quick sale on this. So I've listed it up for 50 bucks. It sat there on Marketplace for a little while, but ultimately ended up selling for the full $50 to a bloke on a motorbike who, who loved to um, obviously wear his leather jackets when he's out riding. So it was a perfect fit for him. It wasn't a perfect fit for me and I've been able to make 50 bucks off it in pretty quick time. So if you're a new reseller out there, open up the cupboard, have a look what you've got that you don't want to have anymore and throw it up on Marketplace. You won't pay any fees and you'll be able to sell some, some things and really get to know the process of reselling. Um, and, and make a few extra dollars along the way. So item number two, my leather jacket, no cost involved, full $50 profit. It's helping my weekly numbers. My third sold item that I have for you this week is a piece of furniture. It is a set of bedside tables. This was literally only about a kilometer from my house. And it was during the week, midweek this week, that she posted them up for sale. Um, she posted them because she was moving house and she was downsizing. So she had a lot of furniture that she no longer wanted and that is a golden opportunity for you as a reseller to strike. So um, the alarm bells went off. I knew that this was gonna be a really good buy. She only had it listed at 50 bucks. And I said, look, I'm only around the corner. Can I come and pick this one up right now? I'll give you $40 for it. What do you think? And she said, yeah, no worries. Pop around right now and come and pick it up. So. Popped around, had a look at it. As you can see by the photos here, they're, they're really good uh, bedside tables. I was able to clean them up and put the polish on and it really made them pop. So I knew they were gonna go pretty quick. It was a really hard wood, really nice coloring. Um, so it just had all the markings for what would be a pretty good sale. Now, my advice with the bedside tables are, they are my favorite piece of furniture to flip. I can throw them in the car. So if you, you, know, if you don't have a ute or anything like that, a small car is gonna be fine. You can put them in the back seats. Um, and the resale value, you can play pretty much for any piece of bedside table, as long as it's got a bit of uniqueness about it. Um, you can play within $150 to $200. Um, remember, these have got to be in really good condition. You can't have any marks or scratches or anything on them because that will devalue the item. But geez, it's certainly around my area. It's amazing how many people put them up around that $50 mark. And that's where you want to strike. You want to buy it around the $50 and then obviously resell for that $150 to $160, $170 type mark. I like to think that with bedside tables, I'll always make $100. That's been the case here with this one. I've been able to sell it for $145. 
and I've made $105 worth of profit. The space, I put this one up on a Tuesday, so the sales cycle for this is actually sold on a Friday. So we're only talking three days here and this one's been able to move. So it's not uncommon with bedside tables. If you've got a good piece and you clean it, you polish it, you present it well, you take great photos, you put the dimensions of how big it is in the description of your listing, people are gonna buy it. So 150 bucks, I've been able to make $100 worth of profit, bedside table, my bread and butter furniture item, my recommended furniture item, if you've never done reselling of furniture before, is to search for bedside tables at the $50 buy price, give it a clean and sell it for 150 and thank me for making you 100 bucks. The next item that I've got for you guys is a great one that I found in the op shops only just a few days ago for $5. It was a Michael Jordan home jersey, red number 23, Chicago Bulls basketball top. So this is a ripping item if you find this in the op shops. It's always going to make you some money really quickly. Um, the issue for me was I worked it on Facebook Marketplace for just $30 and I got flooded with inquiries. And you might think that being flooded is a great thing, but I don't think it is. I think if you've marked it properly, it should take a little bit longer than five seconds to sell on Marketplace. I think that's where they can sell see that it is a very good buy at their end and uh, a really poorly priced uh, item on my end. So I've learned a little bit there. I should have listed this one at $50 or $60. Why did I put it at $30? Well, it wasn't a genuine Michael Jordan number 23 jersey. It was a real, it was a fake, it was a ripoff. But in all fairness, it was a good ripoff. It was one that was actually really well made. And um, I, I really, in hindsight, should have listed this for a bit more because the demand was so much there. But um, look, made 25 bucks. It's a lesson learned. Get your pricing correct because you don't want to shoot yourself with the foot and go unders on profit. Learn my uh, lesson pretty quick with the next one, guys, because there was certainly full profit made on this item. This was another day in the life episode buy. It was the desk only just last Thursday that I secured on Facebook Marketplace for just $25. Now I did some research on this one when I got home and it was an Ikea branded desk. And as soon as you do the search on Ikea, you'll see that it's a $300 desk. Um, so I absolutely struck gold with this at just $25 buy. Not only did I struck gold at 25 bucks, but I also struck gold because it was in mint condition. I really didn't need to do a lot to this. There was a bit of stickiness on the top surface that I uh, scrubbed off with a bit of gumption. Um, and a bit of sugar soap and it got the job done. But um, look, ultimately for this, I've done desks before in the furniture game, like the bedside table, desk is another really good one. A little bit trickier to put in the back of the car if you've only got a small car, but geez, if you've got the space, I'll be on the lookout for desks as well. Um, so look, an Ikea desk for 300, I paid 25. What would I list it at if it's in very good condition? Look, I went 195 to try and get the full 200 because I think that's a really fair resale price for a great quality item. Um, I took an offer in very quick time at $150. I, I took $150 on it because of the purchase price. It was only bought for $25. If I bought it for $50, I probably would have held out for the $195 to make it about $150 on it. Um, but I took the $150 because it gets the item out of the house because when you keep buying furniture items, it does clutter the house up. Um, so this was a bigger desk and to get rid of it for $150 and make $125, I'm really happy with that because I know that it was fairly priced. It was a great buy on his end. Um, he got a desk that was pretty much half price and I also made $125 profit. So in the end, a really good uh, a really good result, only a $25 spend and I think that's the key here. Like anything in reselling, you've really got to buy at the right price because if you buy at the right price, it only means you're going to get a great return when you come to sell it. Couldn't go an episode without putting up a pair of ASICS running shoes, guys. I managed to find the bee's knees, the Rolls Royce, the holy grail the gel Kayano 24s in an op shop. They only cost me six bucks, if you can believe. Um, so I worked these up on both eBay and Facebook Marketplace. Now, remember the gel Kayanos, they are the best form of ASICS running shoe on the market. They're priced at about $260. So when I saw these in mint condition, they didn't even need a clean and they had a ripping sole on them as well. Not a rip sole, a ripping sole. Um, I was able to sell these pretty quick. So I've sold them for a hundred bucks on eBay in the end. And uh, it was a $94 profit. You take off your fees, maybe a $90 return. So um, geez, the ASIC shell, uh, shoes always sell for me really well. But when I found the gel Kayanos, I upped it. There was no $30 sell on these. These were going straight to the top. Um, great condition, top brand running shoe. Made a hundred bucks on the gel Kayanos in one week. 
The next item that I've got for you guys is a pair of bedside tables I found on Thursday in an episode of A Day in the Life. I uh, picked these up first thing in the morning for a $50 purchase uh, off a bloke just down the road, not, a, not far from me. Um, he was selling them for 50, I bought them for 50. They were really unique, there was a real uniqueness, a lot of craftsmanship in the make as well. It had the dovetail edges on the drawers, it was just a really quality piece of furniture. Um, a lot of time and effort had gone into it, you could just simply tell. Um, so I cleaned these ones up. To be fair, they were in really good nick. I put the sugar soap on again and I took a bit of gumption to it. Um, they came up an absolute treat with a bit of polish as well. Um, and my strategy of buying for 50, selling for 150, got put into action again. And within a return of only just one day, I've been able to list and sell. They, they listed on Thursday and they got sold Saturday morning. So I really do encourage you guys, like I've said before, go out and find a piece of bedside table and see if you can get it sold for 150 bucks or around that vicinity. Look for the uniqueness, make sure it's in good nick, make sure all the drawers work and you'll make yourself some money. All right, guys, so this brings us to the moment where I take you through my sales numbers for the week. Remember, I've done for the very first time over $1,000 worth of sales in one week. So I'm really happy with this. I've got the numbers here. I'm going to pull them up here for you now. I've been able to sell 25 items this week, and historically, 25 items is a bit of an average for me. So it's not that I've sold more items, but what it does show is that my cost of goods has been actually quite low. I've only spent $257 on these sold items. And you know, when you're buying furniture and you're averaging $10 per sold item on a cost of good, I think that's incredibly low. Um, and I'm really happy with the fact that it is that low because that's obviously generated a really good profit return for me. Um, my total sales has actually come through and that's just down to the fact that I've bought quality items that I know are in demand and people are after. It's not just a case of just sourcing as many items as you can. It's a matter of sourcing items you know are gonna sell well. Um, so obviously $1,123 is my total sales figure um, for the month, uh, for the week. So, you know, not only have I hit the $1,000 mark, but I've well and truly gone past it. And that's generated a profit return of $866 for the week. So a profit margin of 77%. Another thing that I really wanted to take you through today, guys, was just sort of how the week generated, how the sales kind of flowed throughout the week, because it's a very interesting look at how my week went. Um, so I'll pull up the page for you to have a bit of a look at now. And as you can see here, look, Monday, I only did $25 in sales. And then Tuesday and Wednesday, 100 and 158. Thursday, it still dropped back just down to that $25. And really, after the after the first four days of the week, I thought this video was going to be a, a whole lot different to how it turned out. It, it had a booming Friday for $415 and then a Saturday as well for $400. So $815 out of that $1,123 has come in the space of two days. Sunday's been a bit quiet today. I haven't had any nibbles just yet, but I'm hopefully going to get one or two. But look, $815, the reason I want to put this up and, and depict this to you is because persistence just pays off. That's probably the biggest thing that I've got for you here. I mean, if you're just continually listing every day, the sales will come. Buy the quality product products, buy them at a really low price. And regardless of how your sales are going, just keep listing. Just keep working really hard because persistence pays. You will get it where it just suddenly booms and you make a heap of sales and then it will peter off and flatline. That's just the game of reselling. Don't get too high when things are going really well and don't get too low when things are going really bad because you will average out. It will be okay and persistence will get you there. So be patient, work hard. That was really why I wanted to put up that page because I was pretty flat on Thursday, false fair. I thought the video was gonna be a bit of a, you know, keep persisting, I haven't had the greatest of weeks, but I, I certainly will at some point. And here I am, you know, $1,123 with my, my best week yet. So um, thought I'd put that up to show you, to give you guys a bit of hope and persistence that if you're not where you wanna be, geez, it can turn around really quickly for you. But that's just about it for today's episode, guys. I really do appreciate you tuning in. Remember to give this video a subscribe and a like if you haven't done so already. I'll be back next Thursday for a day in the life and we'll put a What's Old video up as well. But uh, really appreciate you tuning in. Looking forward to catching you in the next one. Bye for now.